Clip Drops Generative Fill is an absolute game changer, and I'm going to show you exactly why it needs to be part of your workflow in this video. What's really cool about this tool is that it lets you edit any image, not just images generated on ClipDrop. That's why it's always been one of the favorite tools and one of the secret weapons as part of my arsenal. They have a great background removal tool, but I'm going to show you a whole bunch of other things you can do to take images generated on other platforms and make them even better using ClipDrop. When you try to use generative fill tools inside of Midjourney, they only work on Midjourney images. Dolly 3 can only edit Dolly 3 images, and Leonardo really only likes to edit Leonardo images. But I want the ability to work on images from any different generator, even real pictures, all in one place. ClipDrop has that special feature, which is their unique superpower. I'm going to show you exactly how it works in this video, as well as some other really cool things you can do to improve images you've generated on other platforms right after we listen to this awesome music. ClipDrop has recently changed their name. They're now called ClipDrop by Jasper. They were purchased by Jasper from Stability AI recently. And that's why you'll see some Jasper branding on the website. It says ClipDrop by Brasper. There's a Jasper free trial button at the top of the page. Hopefully they don't make too many other changes. I have a paid account with ClipDrop because I love their tools so much. If you have a free plan, you may see even more ads than I do. But let's get right into what's possible with this generative fill. We have a close-up picture of a model generated in Leonardo. This looks like a real woman. I'm just going to draw around her eyes and then describe what I want. I want to change them from this hazel green color to blue. We're just going to type blue eyes and spin the prompt. Her eyes are too blue. We got what we wanted, but they look crazy. I'm going to pull it back. The beauty of ClipDrop is that you can just re-roll by clicking that button. And it will keep generating new versions of the eyes until we get a version that we like. These are already better. It's still a little too strong. Let's spin again and see if we can get an absolute winner. Too strong again. I feel like we've gone a step back. It's not always perfect. And that's why it's a reroll tool. It's not interpreting this as a photograph. It's interpreting this as a drawing. Okay, now we're getting really close. So. They're two different colors, but they're getting a little bit closer. We may want to say something like natural blue eyes to add in that element to get a little bit closer to realism. We're hitting the limitation on what this is able to do. Let's try something a little different. See if we can try with a cartoon and get a better result. This time we'll try doing the eyes again, but we'll do green eyes. This tool is in beta, so it's hit or miss. When I was doing my testing before recording, I got a good result with this image. Hopefully you get the same thing here. The first one is always the most extreme. I believe the second image will come out pretty good, but it's not as off-putting with the cartoon character. These do seem a little bit like frog eyes, but they're not so crazy. We're getting closer and we just have to run it multiple times to see just what this tool can do. And this is why we're testing it live. There we go. So we have a pretty good result. If we want to try again, let's try changing our hair color and just play around with what the tool can do. Now let's try giving her blonde hair. See if it can handle this. Whoa, that came out good. <laughs> That's really good. Some things work really well and some things don't. This is why we have to experiment. I was hoping hair would work. The eyes are touch and go. They don't always work with generative fills, but that came out really nicely. And I'm very pleased with that. We can try adding some other elements to the image. So if we hit apply, we can make another change. Let's put an owl over her shoulder and see how that works out. Pretty good. It's not a perfect one-to-one -one match for the animation style, but it's very close. And it does seem like the owl is standing on this branch, which may also be made out of her hair. It's done a really good job. I'm very pleased with this. Let's download it. Let's make a good memory. Let's look at some of the other really amazing tools that we have from ClipDrop. We're going to keep working in the same image and do some relighting. Relighting is very interesting. Let's find one that we like. Too green for me. Watch what happens when I move this around. It affects how she's lit in the picture. It works a little better if there's a photograph, but it's still pretty good. We can go back. Let's try with a picture of a human because we're going to get a better result that way. 
This is a Leonardo image of an AI influencer. Watch how her face gets affected by the light. This is the light of the background. So we're controlling two elements. This may be a little overwhelming, so we want to work with just one light. Watch how it changes the highlight across her body and gives the shadow a different position. It's doing some very interesting things. This allows you to bring new life into old pictures, even if the picture is generated on a different platform. We test it with a Dolly image. This is a Leonardo image. Some images work better with animation. Some work better with pictures. That's why we test each of these tools. Let's try one more image. This is a Midjourney anime image. This is from Midjourney Niji. It's not as visible on the face, but it is making a difference. It's much more visible in the lower part of the body. Try preset three. It is making a difference, but it's not as much of a difference. It's doing some pretty cool things. I like this tool. I like it a lot more for working on my influencers. And we're going to try one more tool that I think is very interesting, which is replace background. We want to put our influencer in a different environment. I want to take this influencer, which I designed in mid-journey. She's jogging in the woods. It doesn't seem very natural to me. Let's see if we can take her jogging at the gym, on a treadmill, track and field. Let's see what happens here. We're going to put high school track. Hit generate. I really like that clip drop will give me four images to choose from for this process. There are some things happening here that are important to understand and to see how intelligent clip drop actually is. Clip drop knows that the lighting is coming from the back. The original picture had a sunset behind her. So each of these new images, the lighting is still coming from behind her. So the background and the lighting are matching. This is a very, very intelligent tool. A lot of background replacements would miss that element. That's why these images are looking a little bit strange because we keep having to backlight her. So even this image, which is okay, it doesn't seem quite natural. That's the reason, but it's getting the light accurate. This one is pretty good. We can try putting her into a different situation instead of a high school track. We can put her in a gym. It's always challenging to work with hair. Anytime you do a background replacement, you're going to have a little bit of imperfections in the hair. This is pretty good. It does seem like she's actually in a gym, but it doesn't make sense to be running next to the weights. We want to have her on a treadmill, so we're going to try putting her on a treadmill next. We have a treadmill behind her. Because this tool is called Replace Background, that's what's going to happen. It's getting closer to the result. It does feel like she's just on a giant treadmill. So our biggest winner, of course, was the track and field. That's exactly the type of result we can expect. This is why we have to experiment and test with these tools. Pretty good result overall. This one works pretty well, surprisingly. I think this works because the background is fuzzed out. Relight is one of the ones I really like playing around with. I use their upscale image upscaling and their outpainting a lot. Pretty interesting. It now feels like it's a picture taken at night. So with the real photographs, this tool works even better. Don't like these colors. This is pretty cool. It has a really interesting shadow to my face. If you get too close, it does cause that reflection. So it's a lot of interesting things. You can play with the colors and play with the levels of power. See, you can give it a little bit of color, a little bit of light, all of those things. We can put me into shadow and just highlight the background. Very interesting what's possible with this tool. So this is what's possible with ClipDrop. It works with any image, not just images from its own generator. Hope you found this one interesting. ClipDrop is a tool that I think belongs on everyone's radar, at least with the free plan, because they give you free generations of each of these tools. You just have to wait a little bit longer in the queue. It can take about 90 seconds or two minutes to remove a background or upscale an image or outpaint an image. I usually don't mind waiting for that. I only switch to the paid plan because I do so many demos with this tool and so much work in my business. I really like what the relighting tool can do. I really like what the new in-painting tools showing as possible. That tool is in beta, so I believe it will get better at, better at changing eye colors and working with humans and real pictures as well as working with cartoons. This is a tool I want to have on your radar, but let me know what you guys think. Is Clip Drop interesting or do you hate the direction it's going in? Do you hate every single thing I just showed you? Let me know in the comments below. I do read every single one of your comments. And if you click the like button, that lets me know that you found this at least interesting. If you didn't, also hopefully find it useful. 
If you hit subscribe, you'll see more content from me in your feed. And if you hit the bell, you get notified every single time I post a video. No matter what you do, I appreciate it. I'm on a mission to hit 2,000 subscribers this month, and we're on track for that goal. And you are a big part of that. Thank you so much for watching this video, making it all the way to the end. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button, and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're going to like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're going to love them.